and we'll kick things off with the OnePlus 8 series. Two phones launched. There's been a lot of talk about it and I think we've spoken about it before also when we did the Cell Guru show that it's a very gutsy move by OnePlus to actually launch two phones at a time like this where literally there is no retail happening and e-commerce also may start now for phones and everything else but it will be slow, it will be painstakingly the stuff that you'll actually have to work hard to actually be able to buy a phone. But the two phones are looking very interesting and finally from OnePlus we've seen something that we didn't see. We used to see incremental changes in their phones. This time there's a super innovation jump. The OnePlus 8 Pro is looking like a true 100% super solid top of the line flagship phone. But I have to tell you, these phones have become a little expensive, right? But I can also tell you that by the time they come into India, they're going to be very aggressively priced. Don't think it's going to be a dollar to rupee conversion because if you do that, you may be a little shocked. So I'm quite confident it's not going to be that. It will be well priced, very aggressive. Let's take a look at these two phones. OnePlus has delivered the most exciting smartphones of 2020. But because they haven't been able to hand over the phones to us due to the lockdown, they did manage to give us the unboxing experience. We could virtually unbox the phones using a filter on Instagram and we loved trying it. Quite innovative, we must say. The OnePlus 8 Pro and the OnePlus 8 both are super fast, filled with specs to the brim and come in exciting new colors. Here's everything you need to know about the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro. Design Both the OnePlus phones are solid. The screen nicely curves to the outer body and looks premium. Both phones have an in-display fingerprint scanner. The Pro is IP68 certified which means it's water and dust resistant. The 8 did not get the certifications but it seems like it can too survive some of the splashes. The OnePlus 8 Pro will be available in Glacier Green, Onyx Black and Ultramarine Blue. Meanwhile, the OnePlus 8 will arrive in Glacier Green, Onyx Black and a new interstellar glow. Display OnePlus created magic here. The OnePlus 8 has a 6.55 inch 1080p display with a maximum refresh rate of 90Hz. The Pro is larger with a 6.78 inch 1440p and brags of OnePlus's first ever 120Hz screen. Performance The big reason of OnePlus being called a flagship killer is its processor. This time too, the 8 series comes with the latest Snapdragon 865. It is claimed to be 25% faster than the previous generation. Both phones support 5G and will come to India with it. Battery The 8 comes with a 4300mAh of battery and the Pro comes with a 4510mAh battery. Both phones have 30 watts fast charging capability and the charger comes in the box. But the 8 Pro also comes with a 30 watts wireless charging support. Again, a big addition to the Pro model. Camera the 8 Pro comes with a quad camera setup and the 8 comes with a triple camera lens system. The Pro has a combination of 48 megapixels main sensor, 8 megapixel telephoto lens, 48 megapixel ultra wide lens, and a 5 megapixel color filter lens. The 8 comes with a 48 megapixel main lens, 2 megapixel macro lens, and 16 megapixel ultra wide lens. Both phones have OIS plus EIS for video and both can shoot in 4K. There is a 16 megapixel selfie camera on both the phones. The 8 and the 8 Pro both run on Oxygen OS on top of Android. The audio quality has been improved too. Price The OnePlus 8 is priced at 41,999 rupees for the 6GB 128GB model. The 8GB 128GB variant is available for 44,999 rupees and the 12GB 256GB model of the OnePlus 8 is priced at 49,999 rupees. The OnePlus 8 Pro is priced starting at 54,999 rupees for the 8 GB 128 GB variant, and the highest model of 12 GB 256 GB is priced at 59,999 rupees. We will test both the phones out soon and tell you if the 8 Pro is the undefeated king of flagships and the 8 the best buy. But for now, they do look winners of this season, at least on paper.